Hi, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the present perfect tense with irregular verbs. If you haven't seen the German with puppets episode that goes with that, go ahead and click on the box up there with the puppets dancing around and stuff. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. As we talked about in the last video in this series, we had German verbs that are regular. They take a GE and a T at the end of them, and they have a form of haben or a form of sein in the verb place where it normally would go. Now, these verbs are all irregular, and by irregular, I mean that they follow basically no pattern. There is some patterns to them, uh, which we'll get into at a later date, but for the most part, you just kind of have to memorize these. So we're going to go through them each one by one and kind of come up with a little bit of a better understanding about these verbs. So, past participle of backen, we have hat gebacken. Doesn't look all that irregular, but it does have an en at the end of it, and therefore it is categorized as irregular. Beginnen changes to hat begonnen. Beginnen hat begonnen. Notice the o in the middle of there instead of an i, and we have an en at the end. Bekommen hat bekommen. Two things happen here. If you have a be at the beginning of a verb, you do not have a ge in the past participle, and also this one's weird because it takes an en at the end of it. Bleiben is weird for a long list of reasons, but the first of which is that it takes a form of sein instead of a form of haben, even though it means to remain, which is the definition of not motion verb. Bleiben means to remain, and so we have here ist geblieben. Don't stop geblieben. Hold on to that bleiben. Bringen is changing to hat gebracht. Not to be confused with the regular verb brauchen, which changes to gebraucht, which has a U in it. Bringen changes to gebracht. Einladen. This is our first example of a separable prefix verb, and so this one seems a little weirder than it really is. Hat eingeladen. Eingeladen. Essen. Hat gegessen. Hat gegessen. Fahren. Ist gefahren. Finden. Hat gefunden. Fliegen. Ist Geflogen. Notice that one did the same thing as beginnen did. It changed the I to an O. Geben, hat gegeben. Gehen, ist gegangen. Haben, hat gehabt. Helfen, hat geholfen. Kennen, hat gekannt. Kommen, ist gekommen. Laufen, ist gelaufen. Lesen, hat gelesen. Liegen, hat gelegen. Legen is going to bother you because there is also a verb legen, which is to lay, and it is regular, which changes to gelegt. The only difference between legen and gelegt in the past tense is gelegen and gelegt, as opposed to legen and legen. Scheinen hat geschienen, schießen hat geschossen, schreiben hat geschrieben, schreien hat geschrien, schwimmen ist geschwommen, Sehen hat gesehen, sein ist gewesen, singen hat gesungen, sprechen hat gesprochen, stehen hat gestanden, treffen hat getroffen, trinken hat getrunken, wissen hat gewusst. Now that we know some verbs and how to use them in the present perfect tense, let's try out some examples here. Again, these sentences could be in the present tense or the future tense, and we have to change them into the present perfect. Start off here with the form of bekommen, and we have to put the past participle here, bekommen, at the end of the sentence. Everything else stays in the sentence and stays in the same order and doesn't change. But we do have to have here a form of haben at the beginning of the sentence, hast. Hast du gute Noten in der Schule bekommen? Did you get good grades in school? The next one, we have a form of kennen here, and so we have to take that out, put a form of haben in there, and put gekannt at the end. So we have here hat. Das Kind hat das Mädchen gekannt. The child knew the girl. Das Spiel beginnt um drei Uhr. Das Spiel is the subject. We change out beginnen for a form of haben. Um drei Uhr begonnen. Das Spiel hat um drei Uhr begonnen. The game started at three o'clock. Die Fußballspielerin hilft dem Schiedsrichter. The female soccer player helps the referee. Change out helfen for a form of haben. Hat dem Schiedsrichter geholfen. Finden Sie Ihre Kinder? Are you finding your children? Haben Sie. Haben Sie Ihre Kinder gefunden? This goes back to our previous video, which was, did we send the children home? Ich backe jeden Morgen einen Kuchen. I bake a cake every morning. Ich habe jeden Morgen einen Kuchen gebacken. Ich fliege nach Berlin. Ich bin. 
nach Berlin geflogen. Ihr esst euer Schnitzel nicht. You are all not eating your Schnitzel. Ihr habt euer Schnitzel nicht gegessen. This is usually something that your mother might yell at you if you're in a German household. Ihr habt euer Schnitzel nicht gegessen. Nummer 9. Mein Bruder ist zu Hause geblieben. Nummer 10. Mein Sohn hat einen Hund. Mein Sohn hat einen Hund gehabt. That's sad. My son has a dog. My son had a dog. Mein Sohn hat einen Hund gehabt. Nummer 11. Meine Eltern fahren nach Hause. Changes to meine Eltern sind nach Hause gefahren. Meine Schwester bringt mir einen Kuchen. My sister brings me a cake. Meine Schwester hat mir einen Kuchen gebracht. Warum gibst du nicht auf? Why don't you give up? Warum hast du nicht aufgegeben? If you have a prefix such as auf or on or some other separable prefix, you put the prefix first, then your GE if necessary, followed by your past participle. Aufgegeben. Wir kommen ohne unsere Mutter. We are coming without our mother. Wir sind ohne unsere Mutter gekommen. We came without our mother. Wir laden unsere Großeltern zur Party ein. Wir haben unsere Großeltern zur Party eingeladen. In this next section, we're supposed to take all of these bits of sentences, put them together, and make sure that the punctuation follows what it actually is. So we have here a statement in the first one. We have to have ich as our subject. Ich bin, because laufen is a motion verb. Ich bin jeden Tag bis letztes Jahr gelaufen. I ran every day until last year. The next one is a question, which means we start with our verb. Since we have les in here, we have to have a form of haben. So we say hast du. Den Krimi gern gelesen. Hast du den Krimi gern gelesen? Did you like reading the detective story? The next one is back to being a statement, and so we start with our subject. Der Teller hat auf dem Tisch gelegen. The plate laid on the table. Nummer vier, scheinen. And here we have a form of haben, and it has to be a statement, so we start with die Sonne. Die Sonne hat gestern geschienen. Schießen. Here we have a statement again, so we start with our subject, das Kind. Hat den Ball ins Tor geschossen. The child shot the ball into the goal. Another statement here. We start with our subject wir. Wir haben unseren Eltern einen Brief geschrieben. Wir haben unseren Eltern einen Brief geschrieben. Notice we added an en here to the end of unser so that we would have it dative plural and an en here for the accusative masculine einen Brief. The next one is a question. We start with our question word, which is warum. Warum habt, to go with ihr, ihr so laut geschrien. Why did you yell so loud? Schwimmen. This one we have to have a form of sein. It goes with die Fische. So we have die Fische sind im See geschwommen. Number nine. We have again a subject here of ich. Conjugate a form of haben to go with ich, which is habe am Morgen einen Film gesehen. I saw a film this morning. The next one, bist du sitzam gewesen? Were you well behaved? Nummer 11, der Sänger hat mein Lieblingslied gesungen. The singer sang my favorite song. Der Sänger hat mein Lieblingslied gesungen. Nummer 12, die Frau is our subject, followed by our conjugated form of haben, hat, zu viel, too much, geredet. The woman talked too much. Nummer 13, das Glas is our subject. Form of haben to go with das Glas, which is hat, auf dem Tisch, for our prepositional phrase, followed by our past participle, gestanden. The glass stood on the table. Nummer 14, wir is our subject. Haben is the form of haben that goes with wir. Wasser is our direct object. And then we have our past participle, getrunken. We drank water. Wir haben Wasser getrunken. And the last one is a question. Habt ihr die Antwort gewusst? Did you know the answer? Habt ihr die Antwort gewusst? That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these videos of worksheet explanations, go ahead and click on that box. If you want to see more German with puppets, click on that box. If you want to see some songs or some Märchen, click on those boxes. And of course, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.